Hey, this is CJ with CommerceCC.com. In this series of videos, I'm going to be assembling the new Team Associated B5M Team Kit. Now I'm going to move on to the battery tray and give you some little stick on foam pads. And those go into these little machined out slots in the chassis. And there are two more, and these go along these rails. I've got a couple of reedy shorty packs. And those fit in quite nicely. These foam blocks are provided to take up the extra space. There are square packs that are made and those fit right into this entire area. Uh, I happen to have these and so I'm gonna make use of them. And another potential benefit of the shorty packs is that I could potentially cut this or simply change its position with this or even stack them like so. I can move the battery pack forward and backwards. As you can see, there's a variety of configurations without even having to cut this because I can, depending on whether this piece is this way or whether it's this way, I can use either one or two of these pieces of foam. And that allows me to move the battery pack forward and backwards and adjust the center of gravity of the vehicle. Or not the center of gravity, to adjust its forward rear balance point. There's a couple of little O-rings provided, and you just slide right over top into that groove. So when they drop down in, you've got a little bit of a cushion effect there. And that will help not having to torque these down so tight trying to make sure they don't loosen on you. The friction of the little rubber O-ring will prevent them from backing out. So you don't have to crank them down until they, they lock in and overstress this arm. Just to see about how far I screwed that in, not quite halfway. That looks to be about the right amount. They don't give you a specific distance in the direction. I think it, how far you're going to screw these in may have to do with the size and type of battery pack you're running. There's our battery pack. It's a very nice mounting system. Easy in, easy out. Well, we're on the home stretch. As you can see, I've got battery and uh, motor in. And be setting up the ESC shortly. A couple little items. The bag that the wheels come in. In there, you're going to find a little angled wedge for the... Uh, for the rear wing. And this is something that uh, is new. Instead of being two pieces, it's now one piece and there's a hole here. There's a little bit of extra thickness. There's nothing in the directions about this, but it looks like something that you could put a, uh, a grub screw in from below and 
when the wing is on, you could adjust that screw to tighten the wing against the, the body pins and perhaps adjust the angle a little bit or at least make the wing stable so it, it doesn't rock around a little bit. Another thing that you're going to find are these little guys right here. And these are the body pin mounts for the back. It's kind of nice that they that they built them like this so they can be removed. You'll notice there's a, uh, a square fitting that drops right down here. And so the pin is going to point out to the side like that. My last RC-10, I just used Velcro stick on Velcro on either side of the body and up at the front. But I think in this case, I'm going to use the, uh, the provided pins and uh, these little screws attach them. So if you ever break one of these off, you can replace it. And uh, there just seems to be no end to the refinements and changes. The gear cover, instead of having a harder plastic cap that would snap in for getting access to the slipper clutch bolt, it's a uh, soft rubber and the mounting point is on the outside and instead of snapping in, it snaps over nice and easy and those pop right on and off. Little improvements abound.